Hi everybody! Welcome to Sunday Live. Um, <laughs> I've been really, really busy since the last time we met. I've been power journaling. I've been journaling, powering on through that journaling business. Um, and I, I've almost so nearly got to the stage I wanted to get to. But um, it's, you'll see. You'll see what I've been doing. Um, I just want to cut these two cards out and then you'll see where I'm at because I'll show you. Um, I hope you've been busy. Um, I put a little post on the group last night about the uh, the Take 5 challenges. If you're new to us here, on, if this is the first time you've ever watched us, where have you been? <laughs> uh, we do a live every Saturday and Sunday and we do one on a Tuesday and the one on Tuesday is a take five where I well, I was going to say suggest <laughs> I do more than suggest I tell you <laughs> the five items that I want you to include in a given project be it a tag a envelope or whatever it may be so it could be things like stamping stenciling using ribbon using ink anything really combination of five things and over on our Facebook group which is Miss Paint-a-Lot's junk journal group uh, people post what they've done and I must say it's fabulous I, I, oh, I so love looking at the things you've done you're really inspired and you really inspire me and you inspire Mr F he generally has a go at it um, through the week one of the days we've been exceptionally busy this week and i don't know that he's going to get time to do it tomorrow either to be honest because bob the dog has got to have a haircut for christmas um so that take you know it's quite a it's about 30 odd miles to get it because we live in the middle of nowhere um so that you know 30 miles traveling wait for the dog which about an hour and a half and back so he's a bit tight for time tomorrow so his take five this week may encroach on next week's as well we'll see we'll see anyway but i just wanted to thank you all for the time and trouble and effort real effort that you take into putting those take fives up on the page i love looking at them just dawned on me that i'm not even in the right place to see everybody would you like a roll call with you i'm just Finding myself at this late stage. <laughs> okay. Never too late to find yourself. Okay, but can I cut? And no, I can't really. That's just rude. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna go? Yeah, I go. Janya. Hello, Janya. Terry. Hi, Terry. Hilda. Hello, Hilda. Julie. Hi, Julie. Jean. Hi, Jean. Michelle or R Dixie. Hello, Michelle. Oh, today. Dixie. <laughs> Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Carol. Hello, Carol. Ellen. Pritson. Hello, Ellen. Is it Ellen? E L L E N. Ellen, yeah. Hello, Ellen. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Roz. Hi, Roz. Benice. Hi, Benice. <laughs> scrolling, 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 scrolling. Kathleen. Hello, Kathleen. Leslie M. Hiya, Leslie. Carol Hiya, Carol. Nana Moses. Do you think that's uh, Donna? No. No? Well then, hello, Nana Moses. Yeah. No, it's 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 Nancy or somebody, isn't it? There's somebody. Don't think it's Nancy. No, it's somebody. I can't remember who. All right, okay. Say, it's just a junkie with Grandma Moses, which is a new channel, but she's called some. Right, else. okay. I thought it was Donna Marie Moses, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, you could be right. Uh, Joseph Cinderella. <laughs> hello, Joseph. <laughs> and Flo, if you're there. It is really flow, I guess. I think that's it. If I missed your show. Oh, Kerry. Hiya, Kerry. How could he forget you? He mentioned you yesterday when you weren't here. I didn't forget. I just scrolled. Oh, all right. Fast. Okay. Tony Vince. Hiya, Tony. 
Jan Ann. Hi, Jan. Amanda Roberts. Hello, Amanda. I think that's everybody now, I think. Well, welcome one and all, and thank you very much for spending some time with me today. Don Marie Moses, you were right. Ah, uh, good. So I just want to cut this out and then you will see what, what my game is here and why I've been crafting like a lunatic. Truly like a lunatic, honestly. There's been paper, ink, scissors, pencils flying. Did we say Marie? No. We didn't. Hi, oh. Jean-Marie. Fancy forgetting you. And you're always so vigilant at commenting on my videos, which I really do appreciate. Didn't forget. Just... I know, it's difficult to catch everyone. It's not a case of forgetting, it's just catching them while you're scrolling. Catch them while you can. Indeed. Oh, there goes my... There goes my... Best bit of yoga mat. Dear me. Just going to ink round these... Cause Clip the tops off. I realise at this stage I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, but um, stick with me. <laughs> <laughs> and when she works it out, she'll let you know. Yeah, when I work it out, you will be the first to know. So I just want to do around these edges a little bit. And then I'll, I shall reveal all. It's the same paper as paper set that I was using yesterday. It's Lorna's uh, Winter Magic. Winter's Magic, it is actually. Um, which, isn't it funny, you know, sometimes you look at papers and you absolutely fall in love with them. And, you know, you have to buy them, obviously. And you get them and you, you, you I don't know, you just can't think what, you, what it is you wanted to do with them. Um, this kit uh, Lorna gifted to me and I looked at it and I thought oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that and yet when I started I, I really really like it you know I'm not just saying that you know me by now I don't just say things I'm fairly straightforward if I don't like something I'll certainly let you know I know that's true <laughs> but this kit honestly I'm really really liking it I love the colour. It's a sort of, it's an inky blue, a real inky blue, uh, quite dark. Maybe that's, you know, fits in with the winter's magic bit. I don't know, but I do like it and I find it very, very usable. And I was looking through it again this morning and the, there actually is a lot more ephemera in with it than I thought there was. So, um I need to ink the back of those, but I'm not going to make you sit through that. So what I'm going to do now is get my towel out. Clean that board off, ready for next time. Sorry if I whacked the microphone there, which I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, and I'm going to get my... I don't know what you call it, tag maker thing. This is the right way up. These should be two and a half inches, which they are. Go in there and clump that off. Ooh. So then you get that nice shape at the top. Same with this one. This is a really useful thing, actually. I mean, I do have dies that cut out tag shapes. This is... It does one and a half, two and two and a half. It also does two and a quarter if you're prepared to sort of perch it a little bit. And it does less than two. If same thing, just perch it a little bit. Um, and it comes out fine. I also have this little sta um, punch thing, puncher, I suppose it is, um, that the lovely Julie from Camellia Crafts bought me. I'd seen her use one um on her videos that she does which are always wonderful i love her videos um and this came in the post for me so thanks so much julie i know i've said thank you before but i've been using it this morning and i really 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 like it thank you very much so i cut out these out of the blue card that we were using yesterday i'm just going to put them around there just to make a bit of a kind of feature of them so I'll do that quick, sharp, quick, 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 eh, Hilda? And uh, 
Oh, that's rather a lot of glue for a little reinforcement. Let's get my board back. Don't want this glue going everywhere. I appreciate I'm crafting in the dark with you at the moment, but don't don't worry. It's all going to be revealed. And one on the back. I just said to make such an. I'm going to ink around the back of there, but maybe not right at this minute. I might do it after I've shown you what the heck it is I'm up to. It's not really a surprise. Well, I mean, it is because you haven't seen it, but it's you have seen me make these before. Squish that on. Sharon says hi. Hi, Sharon. Sharon Davis. Uh, yes. Just got to keep a check on them all. It's good of you to give up time on your Sunday. I really appreciate it, you know. Uh, with regards to Christmas, Mr. F said some of you were trying to work out when we'd be here and when we wouldn't. We will be here on Tuesday coming. Um, so that will be the 15th. We'll be here on Tuesday the 15th doing the regular Take, li take Live. <laughs> uh, the regular Take Five. So that's Tuesday the 15th, we'll be here doing that. But that will be the last take five of the year. Um, and we will be here next Saturday and Sunday. And that will be it then, till I think it's the 8th and 9th of January. Um, so we're having sort of two weekends off. Um, and I hope you don't mind, but... It's quite tiring doing all these lives. Yes, Mr. F. We have a newbie, Carol Laws, says hi. Carol Laws, I know that name from somewhere. Hiya, Carol, you're very, very welcome. Join in the live chat and uh, you'll never be lonely again. Right, this is what I have spent my time since the last time I saw you making, because I wanted, I realized that the other one, this one, kind of only really needed a journal in it and then what were we going to do for the rest of the time so um that one's all but finished really apart from the journal and maybe some bits of glitter on the outside but this i have made and you've seen me do this before it's the envelope trifold trifold envelope and this is what it looks like i've left the envelopes white because i thought they looked set it off nicer more nicely uh, this is the journal i've used well you can see the papers i've used this one with a cute cute little squirrel look at him it's gorgeous isn't he um and then that folds out and of course you've got journaling papers uh in each of the three three pockets three lots of journaling papers this one's got the squirrel and the bunny rabbits on. And they just fold over and go into there. Like that. There's another page in there, full page of journaling with a design on the, you know, a design sheet that's left blank on the back so you can journal. And then there's this envelope here. Look at that image. It's beautiful. And that flips out like that needs a journaling card in there which i haven't got yet that's the only thing i think i'm missing but it gets a journaling card or two tags i'll have a look and see what's on the kit see what i can put in there and then it's got a nice long um tag in there with journaling on the back more of julie's doodads carol law says she's just printed out this kit so she's looking forward to see what she can make well you know i'm sure you can make something maybe even you know not maybe even i'm sure you can make something more artistic than than i've made i've kind of kept them as they are really um i love these little blue tits on it they're my favorites of all look see the foxy where are we here foxy blue tit i mean is that not just a perfect page and look at this here it's really really lovely 
and that flips out and we've got that stag there on the back. Nice, huh? Nice papers. Thank you, Lorna. And uh, let's put that where it belongs in, in there. And then on the front, we've got this wrap around envelope. And that, these are the tags that I was just making. Yay, now we know what they're for. So that fits into there like that. Another one goes into the back. Like so. Um, decide whether we want to put ribbons on them or what we want to put on them. Um, but they all need a good glittering. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, but I think this is, I think it's really nice. Got the stag there, loud and proud. And it gets an eyelet in there with a little, a tiny little tag attached to it. And I might put a charm on this one, seeing as I have charms, you know, snowflakey kind of charms. Um, but, you know, I'll show you that when it's finished. I'll do a little video and show you that when it's finished. Um, just talking of charms, I just wanted to show you some that I got the other day. These ones. You can see them. Flowers. And they're in sort of like this silvery colour. And they're also in that kind of alloy. I don't know what. The brass, bra bronzy, brassy stuff. Um, so I like those. And they've just got one hole at the top, which is perfect for putting through a jump ring. So what, next I'm doing Edith or a botanical or something like that. They will come in handy. Right, slow down. So this is what we made yesterday. You may recall. Uh, it's another one of those little file folio things. It's got nothing to do with a file. And it's never been near a file. It's a folio. <laughs> um, we've got this that is going to flip over onto some Velcro dots. Opens up. Lovely foxy image again. One, two, three blue tits. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Blue tits and berries and that lovely orange fox. Beautiful. And it opens like that. And then it opens again. And this is where we got to yesterday and you just can't see how glittery this is. Look at that. It's mega glittery. I don't think, I think I'm right in saying I've never made anything this glittery in my life before. But I'm liking it actually. And this was the journal that I was agonising yesterday over the cover and what to do. And that's it. It's been glittered. It's got the snowflakes on it. And it looks stag here i think it looks nice actually i'm quite pleased with that uh on the back i put uh, just some paper from the set and lots of glitter <laughs> and then inside it i just made a, a, a journal from white pages white paper which is unusual for me uh usually i'd use coffee stained but or put in something else as well as just the white but I like the sort of the clarity the simplicity of this so this is just a bit thicker than copy paper just um, not much but just a bit and that's how it fits in the journal a sort of margin all the way around I have used a three hole pamphlet stitch there and it fits in this pocket beautifully because the pocket is gusseted and for those of you that are new Carol and everybody else there's lots of you I know some of you don't come on live chat because you feel embarrassed and honestly we've all been there so don't worry about it or, or you might be shy that's because fine wants to know if this is all from the same kit all from exactly the same kit and it's Lorna it's tailor-made journals winter's magic winter apostrophe s magic winter's magic and it all what I'm showing you here is actually a fraction of it uh, as I say, I went to look at it again this morning and there's loads of ephemera. And if you've been watching Mr. Fix-It's um, uh, programs, that, lives that he does, you will then know how to take your file, crop it down to the bit that you want. So it might be just you want one postcard, but you want it to be the full page. You will know how to do that. And if you're having trouble finding them, go to my channel that you're watching now and... 
if you go to playlists, there'll be a Mr. Fix It's playlist. Go there and it'll be in amongst that. Um, it Once you know how to do it, it's very, very easy. So just, this is our shaker, which still works. Get back in there. This, uh, I need to sort this out, actually. Um, the the card is catching on the back flap, which is somewhat annoying. I did stick it down first. I did everything I was supposed to, but I obviously haven't put quite enough glue, so it's not going in far enough. So I need to fix that bit in there so the card will go in and not come flying out. So we've got a tummy tuck here with Let It Snow. We've got a little journaling card in there that's uh, glittered as well. Towards the light. It is towards the light. That's, that's it. There you go. Um, that fits in there. We've got the bunnies down at the bottom. The journal, the little notebook that you've already seen. The this that you've already seen. And yeah, what have we got on the back? The shaker card, which we had great fun. I had great fun anyway yesterday making that. <laughs> and it looks really nice, I think. Uh, there's the tag, the big journaling tag in there. All glittery as well. Come on. <laughs> and on the back, I've just um, inked around it and I've stamped some snowflakes on there. And I've put a little snowflake charm, which is rather nice. And there we go. So that folds over like that. And then we've got this foxy, as I say here, he needs some glitter. And then right on the back, we've got Cyril the squirrel. <laughs> and he's sitting in amongst the snow. He must have a very cold, cold feet. That's what he must have, cold feet. Uh, so he needs a bit of glitter as well, definitely. But in the, the first thing I'm going to do is make a journal that goes in here. And I have actually put that micropore tape that I was telling you about. I buy mine uh, from Boots the Chemist. I did also get some from Poundland, um, but I don't like it quite as much. It's a bit more, it's got ridges in it. Um, and for something like this, I wanted it really smooth. So before I put the papers down, I did put the micropore down to strengthen that. And if, if you really wanted to, you could put a piece of ribbon down there or something. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the signature in and then I'm going to put a piece of ribbon down the outside just to hide the stitches and to strengthen that paper a bit more. So let's get on to making the journal, yes? Sharon has just said she's got YouTube to install on the TV, so yeah. Oh no, I'm full size. You're full size. So many people have been telling me this week that I'm actually full size on their telly. <laughs> I, I just dread to think what I look like, but I hope you're enjoying it nonetheless. And Bernice says she's got to get the muffin, muffins out of the oven, so don't do anything too exciting. I never do anything too exciting, <laughs> Bernice. Right, so let's measure this. But talking of muffins, that would be nice. Um, so I'm going to measure ha from half of there, because that's where I'm going to sew the signature in, to th this is where it bends. So I don't want it to go over there. So from half the signature to there is five and three quarter inches. Now I don't want it exactly butting up to that. It'd be an uncomfortable match. So I think five and a half, which is there, would be just great. Yeah, and Terry says she forgot what the glitter was called. It was Stickles, wasn't it? Yeah, Stickles from Ranger. It's a Ranger product. Stickles. Stickles. What did I say? Five and a half. Honestly, Terry, turn me around twice and I'm lost. Five and a half. And it's the full size of the paper. But I might cut that down a bit. I have been, I've searched through all my bags this morning for blue ribbon. And um, I was obviously lying yesterday when I said I didn't have any. So I've got yards of the stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle says you're full size on the telly and also small size on the phone. She's got multiple Fiona's. You poor girl. <laughs> you poor, poor girl. I would have thought one was more than enough for more anybody. More than enough. 
Right, so I'm going to set aside this trifold journal for the time being. If we've got time after we've done all our stuff, we'll come back and finish that off, which I hope we have got time because um, otherwise I've wasted my time this morning. Well, not wasted, I've still got that. Right, so let's get together what we want to use. So we want some white paper. Um, this is the stuff I'm using. It's HP Bright White Inkjet and it's 90 GSM. It doesn't tell me what it is in pounds, so I'm sorry, guys. 90 GSM. And I'm going to put... I mean, I want it thick, but not mega thick. I'm going to put six sheets of this in. Wobbling it around in, th in thin air is not good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bernice must have had a muffin thing early, mustn't she? Bernice must have had a muffins in early. That's all I'm thinking. It's true. The early bird gets the muffin. Mm. I was up early. Um, I printed the words out again, just the words, just in case I needed them for the little trifold. Um, but I'm going to use this journal word on our journal cover. Oh, I think I might need another piece of paper printed out for my cover. Let's see if I've got one. Let's see what I've got. I've got those large bookmarks which are gorgeous. really like those. Um, yeah, I think I need another piece of paper printed out. Mr. Um, how about... Yeah, I've still got those words left. Look at that envelope. Isn't it lovely? Um, how about the one with um the, the this one it's got a sort of stag at the bottom okay i'll have a look please because i've covered this one up with a pocket so you can't see him right so where was i up to anyway yeah six sheets of paper and a partridge in a pear tree right i've also got this which i've had oh so long it's um a4 colored paper suitable for ink jets and it's 80 so it's really quite thin that's the thinnest i would ever use um but it's fine for going in a journal and one of the colors in it happens to be light blue so one two there's one more of those i think Even my nails are monkey because I've been, oh, I've got two, because, you know, I've been inking and all sorts of stuff this morning. Let's see if I can get this in without crumpling it. That would be excellent if that were to happen. Yes, look at that. That's great. So I'm finished with that for the time being. Um, what else am I going to put in? What else do I have to hand? I have got some ledger paper. I've also got some music. I've got pretty much what we put in the last one actually because it's just lying there. My map notebooks of the world. So let's find a map in here that we fancy. Well, anyone really. South America, anyone? USA, let's use that one. And Canada. Right. That book's dropping to pieces now, but never mind. And I'm going to put one of my weekly planners in. I know that um, it's pink and the thing is blue, but it's just, it's nice. I like it. I like the idea of it. And here we have our music book again, the old piano roll blues. Sorry, Americans. That was my best American accent. <laughs> Come dance with me. 
I just keep going till I find a title that I like. <laughs> Have I told you lately that I love you? Yeah, let's go for that. That's a nice one, isn't it? So I'll have that. Right, I think that's just about all our inclusions, really, pretty much. So before I get on to cutting the inclusions down, I'm going to cut these pieces of paper, line them up but as best you can. And I want it five and a half, so 11. I want it cut off at 11. So I'm going to have to get my large ruler. You're an A4 portrait, I presume, do you? Um, no, I want it landscape the way the way it, it is. Oh, well, it's, it's part of the, that, that, that image, is it? Yeah. Is it not? It's part of the full card set. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Just one of the papers, please. One, one of the... Oh, look at that. Knock at them. So you want A5 then, basically? No, I want it A4, please. A4 landscape. Well, you can't have that one then because that's portrait. Yeah, that's what you just said. A4 landscape, um, borderless printing, not to fill the whole page, just borderless. Yeah. So I'm cutting this off at, oh, well, I would be if I hadn't moved it, at 11, because remember we said it was five and a half. So two five and a halves is 11. Let's get my ruler squared up. So on A4, that doesn't actually leave us very much. I'm inundated with stuff. Stuff everywhere. So cut all those in one go. They're, well, they're not much good for anything. I can't just keep keeping everything. Right, so I'm going to fold these in half along the long side and I find it's better if you fold each one individually you might like to fold them all together it's, it's, it's up to you really so yeah we've got three pieces of blue and all the other inclusions I think it'll look quite nice really Whilst we're off over Christmas, I think we'll have a look, we're going to have a look at other ways of, other revenue streams. That's what they say nowadays, isn't it? Revenue streams. Um, because it is horrendously expensive doing this. Um, and, you know, I know I do sell stuff, but that, you know, it all goes straight back into what we call a painter account. Um, and it's you know you know yourselves from doing it yourself it's it's expensive so in order to keep going we're going to have a look at something else but more of that later on it won't affect anybody particularly not in an adverse way You know, it's true what they say, isn't it? More haste, less speed. The more I'm trying to straighten these up quickly, the more offline they're going. So I'm just going to chill a bit. I'm going to do some origami chilled folding. Fiona sounds like my son. He's forever saying, Mum, you've got too much stuff. Um, Michelle was just asking uh, Lorna if she does printed out kits because she doesn't have a printer. Ah, right. And Lorna says it's insanely expensive. Oh. The time she's paid somebody to print it out and posted it from Canada. You are not joking, honestly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you very much indeed. That's great. Um, yeah, you know, printing out, printing out has always been expensive. You know, you buy the kit and you think, oh, what a bargain that was. 
um, you know, if you buy off antique papery or whatever and you've paid half or nothing for your kit. But then you come to print it out. And as you know, uh, very recently I bought a professional printer, which wasn't cheap to start with. And then we put cheap inks in it. And it was disappointing to say the least. So we then had to move up to the sort of next tier of, well, the next few tiers of inks, which then makes it expensive. And then I discovered the joys of photo map paper, which makes it more expensive again. So, uh, yeah, printing things out is not cheap. And since, since it's now costing me so much to do, I really print things as I need them. Previously, I would have printed the whole kit and just picked my way through it, what I wanted, and then I'd have put the rest in the drawer, and it would have been lucky, honestly, if I'd ever saw the light of day again. Um, but now I really just print as I need. And I'm sure it's good for the environment and certainly better for my purse. It's so tempting when you get a new kit just to print it all. But boy, is it expensive. So there we are. I think that doesn't me measure 11 inches. Um, really... Oh, it just about does. Just about. So let's fold this in half and then let's see where we're at. Just want to ink around there as well. Right. So that's going to go there. So I need something off the length, but I can do that all together. And it's going to come to there and fold over. Everything's lovely. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's just look at these inclusions. Uh, what does that measure that way on? <gasps> it measures eight inches, so that means I'd have four on either side. I think that's fine. Happy with that. So let's just take this raggedy edge off. Square it up. It's a good thing about quilting rulers. Well, there are many good things. One is it can square it off using another side. There we are. Thank you. How about there? It's the only spot I can see in the whole place that hasn't got anything on it. Thank you, my love. I've made everybody a coffee. Oh, have you? But to get it to them, I've had to deconstruct it and oh. have hidden the constructive parts in the kitchen. So. <laughs> So, so there'd be lots of people coming through the, our house to the kitchen, is that what you're saying? No, I've sent it to their kitchens. Oh, you've sent it to their kitchens. <laughs> wow. Honestly, technology has really improved. I know. All they've so, got to do is put it back together. <laughs> that's that. So we've got our, have I told you lately that I love you? Look at this paper. Look how perfectly aged it is. And that is, of course, because it's perfectly aged. So once again, just, um, I just want to get rid of that raggy bit. It's quite fragile, this paper, actually. You, you know, you wouldn't want to be adding a pocket to it or anything like that, I can tell you. I'm sure it's not that long ago that you sat and watched me make a journal. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm boring you, but we do, as I say, have lots of newbies. And this... Maybe something that they haven't come across before. So, I've got our map as well. So, I'm, I'm going to cut round that, I think. I like it better when it's just the map without the uh, margin. But you can add anything at this stage. You can add receipts, you can add envelopes, you can add um, graph paper, vellum. There is no end to the things that you can add at this juncture. Uh, you know, have a look around, see what you've got, and just get it sewn into that signature. Makes it much more interesting. 
When I first started watching people make junk journals and they were adding these bits of paper in, I thought, well, what, why? Why are they adding those in? Obviously, the person can't journal on them, so what's the point? Um, but the point is, it makes it interesting. <laughs> Mr. Fix had had some Pringles last night. I wouldn't say I helped him with them. I might have done. Um, and put the, the canister thing down for the for Bobby to play with and if you can hear him that's what he's doing he's trying to chew that apart he loves cardboard boxes I think he may have been an orangutan in previous life so I'm going to fold that over that way so it won't be the full length of the the rest of the journal there we are and just this one left to go I'm going to fold it inwards like that so as when you're going through the journal this is going to be the center and you'll see all of it like that. It's too long. I know it's too long. But we'll get it chopped off in a minute. Right, so let's build this up then. So on the outside cover is this. Needs inking. Let's do it now. No time like the present, guys, is there? I might just have a mouthful of coffee, you know. It's too hot for a mouthful. Sip. Very nice. Thank you, my love. Very nice. Um, right. My lovely brush that Hilda sent me. Honestly, these brushes, if you haven't got them, consider getting them because they're, they're fabulous. So I don't want it really, really dark. Not like when I'm going to do my grunge. There might be a hint there as to what's going to happen on take five, but there might not be. So, If you weren't with us yesterday, and I, and I know most of you were, I was, I'm contemplating, in fact I'm going to, make a grunge thing. It might be a journal, it might be a folio. Uh, the little folio I think might be a nice start rather than go head on full tilt into a journal when I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I've got cramp in my finger. Oh. So yeah, either the folio or the em envelope trifold might be the, the beginning of the grunge thing. Might be the end as well. Might be the beginning and the end. Have any of you done a grunge journal or grunge anything before? I bet you have, Terry. Tell us about it. Do you put black lace or brown lace or something on? Do you use walnut stain ink? Tell me. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about flowers. I love flowers. Anybody that knows me knows that I love flowers. And actually, I love the inclusion of birds as well so grunge is going to be a bit different to that it's going to be more I'm going to aim for more sort of industrial grunge <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that is <coughs> I've seen other people do industrial grunge so that's why I'm saying it but I don't know what it means <laughs> I haven't got a clue <laughs> so so when you see mine, oh, who knows, eh? It's an experiment. Good thing. Right, so we've inked around there. That's grand. I get my towel out, which I'm calling my Tim towel because it was Tim that I saw doing a demo and he had a towel. His was damp that he was wiping his stamps off with. He was wiping his work surface. The towel seemed to be the answer to all these problems so i've got i've now got a tim towel and i must say it's great for wiping up excess ink etc excess glue everything and no i don't want you to think that this was <laughs> this was one of our towels and i've just started using it 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 came as packaging and some furniture we bought from an auction so i mean who who knows how old this towel is i have washed it i did wash it um, 
But you know, it's probably um, fairly old. Aren't we all? Right? Aren't we all? Right, so here's the, um, the cover of my journal. I'm sorry, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm a bit skitty today. Sorry about that. You just have to live with me, I'm afraid. Well, you can always turn off, can't you? <laughs> You've got that. You've got that fallback position. I'm fed up with her today. Turn her off. Um, I'll put my that in as well, which needs cutting down. I'm just. It's fairly arbitrary. This white paper, uh, a bit of music, a bit of white, a bit of blue. Oh, I'm left with quite a lot of white. <laughs> Might have to go through and put some more in. Map of the world. White. Blue. It's quite nice having those blue pages in, actually. Quite nice. Isn't it? Glad I found that paper. As I say, I probably only had it 10 years. And that. Right, OK, let's fold that up and see what we've got. So, when you put papers together like this, they walk. Because each time it can't get tight in, as tight into the V, this V here, as the page in front. So they walk. And personally, myself, I can't bear it. I think it looks untidy. Um, we all have our views on it. So I think I'm going to have to move this up and the music. Otherwise, I can't get a solid bottom <laughs> i'm going to move them down actually because i want to keep the title in the music have i told you lately that i love you because i like that have i told you lately mr f every day my sweet oh that's all right then, isn't it that's okay this is in a tangle i'm going to take these long ones out just making my life unnecessarily difficult don't need it Right, so bang them down hard like that. So they're all the bottoms at the bottom. I'm going to put them back in, don't worry. And like that, so they're all tight into that V. Just make sure that they are as tight as you can they're get. They're all looking forward to you getting down and dirty. Are they? <laughs> Has anybody done one, did they say? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, Corrine's made two grungy journals for friends. Oh, right. Pictures, Corinne, on the on the Facebook group, please. Jean uh, says Harry Potter ones are grungy. Yeah, yeah, go with that, Jean. Bobby! So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to the edge of my design paper, which is a little bit shorter than some, but I know that's the shortest. And line my ruler up with the edge of that paper and then and Jim cut says through it. So she's late, Joan. Oh, hiya, Joan. What's going on? So that should square that up Flock of birds. quite nicely. There we go. Right. There we go. That's looking nice. So this wants to go in the middle. Our daily planner. And I want the daily plan a bit to be seen. So that's going to go there. Then we've got the music. I can't remember where I had these, but I don't think there was any. There was two pages of white anywhere. Yeah, in there. So I'll put that there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that off short. Shorter than the rest of them. The whole thing might be too long anyway, which I'll have to cut it down, but never mind. Right, so I'm going to cut it off about there. The dog's seen a collie outside, sheep dog, and uh, he thinks he wants to go out and see it in more detail. Right, that, so that's a bit shorter than that uh, top and bottom. So... Let's 
cut that uh, weekly planner off. As I say, I might have to come back and cut. I'm making it, you know, mountain out of a molehill here. You just get some papers and you fold them in half. That's it. That's all you do. I'm just um, going on and on about nothing here. Did we have another one? Oh, yeah. This one. Make sure that your inclusions are the right way up. Because <laughs> I've done that before. And it's... It's not funny. So I'll just pop this in here. I don't even go very well. Now realise you can't actually see the dog, so he's knocking at the back door to come in. Right, I think we're kind of there. Yes, you could keep all these bits of paper. I don't have anywhere to keep them, so they're going in the bin. I'm sorry, I know. It's wasteful. So there we are. I think we've actually got a journal. All those pages. So let's see if it fits, or do we need to lop something off the top or the bottom? Yeah, we do. We need to lose... A little bit off there. We need to lose about three eighths of an inch. So that's what we're going to lose. Would it be better off the bottom? Yeah, just to preserve my weekly planner, I think. Oh, but I've got old stag face there. Yeah, I'll take it off the top. So I'm just going to guess where three eighths of an inch is. Line my ruler up along the spine of our new journal. I think it's about there. So, of course you can use your scalpel or anything else that you have to hand right let's have a look then proper look yeah that's just a nice height yes that fits in there lovely 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 right so next thing we need to do is get the yoga mat out for newbies you need something in between what you're about to do and your cutting mat because we're going to use a pokey tool and if you go off kilter a little bit you'll stab your, your cutting mat and, and you'll ruin it because it'll have a, a lumpy bumpy hole in it so that's not what you want so what I'm going to do is push open this at the middle and push these right in as far as they will go and when they're really tight I'm just going to put some clips on if you haven't got any clips yet you can use paper clips they will do, but they're not quite as tight as, as these clippy clips. This one you put on the outside, oh, did I? Thank you. So I'm pushing that as tight as I can get it and clipping it. Right, now I'm going to make my marks where I want to push through. And I'm going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch, it's called. Uh, and it's really, really easy. And I know loads of you out there will be saying, it's not easy, I can't do it. Oh, it's all right when you're doing something like that, but when you're doing a full journal. What I would say to you is, make these up. Make these little notebooks up, with just a few pages in. Card maybe on the outside, make it slightly easier again, and keep doing it and doing it. You'll have some lovely notebooks to put in your journals and you will really get the hang of pamphlet stitch. So when it comes to you putting a, a signature in a journal, you'll know what you're doing. It won't, you know, it won't be difficult for you. Like everything, practice. Practice makes perfect. I'm still waiting. 
So I'm going to put my ruler, you could use an ordinary ruler if I had one, which I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, here, we'll use an ordinary ruler because that's probably more likely what you'd have. And I've got zero on the bottom and I'm coming up to an inch. And I'm going to make a mark there right on the center where the inch is. And I'm going to do the same, put the inch there and come down and mark that right, right in the middle. Then I'm going to measure what I've got left between the two holes and it's almost six. So if I shunt it, so I've got a little bit over there and there, I can mark this at three. Okay, so I've got my three holes in there ready to sew the journal into. So I just need to get this and clip it onto the journal. I'm wondering if it would be easier doing it this way. Possibly not so much flappage going on. So I want the holes to be in the middle of um, in the middle of this piece here. I think what I'm going to do is poke these through first and then I can use a pencil to mark. So when you're poking your holes, get your pokey tool, put it on the position where you marked your pencil, fold it down as flat as you can and just push straight, straight through like that. And by holding it down flat, it will come out on the back line. If you've got it like this, there's always a chance that it'll come through there. And that's not what you want. So same again, I'm on the middle hole now, middle pencil mark, close it down, push it through straight like that. And this one on the end, exactly the same. Line up your pokey tool with your pencil mark, fold it over and push through. And you see now that the holes are exactly on that fold. And that's where you want them to be. That's job well done. Right. Shaz says she's getting back to crafting tomorrow. Oh, that's good, Shaz. Put, put an a audio book or something on. Um, you know, to take your mind up a little bit. So I'm just going to make my pencil mark where I've made these holes. And then they're bound to be right. Ha ha. Right, so there are, there's my holes. I'm going to get my pokey tool again. This time I can just go straight down through them. Don't go so far that you come through your yoga mat or whatever it is you're using. So we need that in the middle of that section there. Middle, the diddle there. And the bottom one there. Right, I'm going to make these a bit bigger because it makes putting the um, the thread through, the needle through, a bit easier. So from the outside, I'm going in. I'm going to push my pokey tool right through, making, you know, the biggest hole I can make with this pokey tool. And when you come to sewing it in, you won't be fighting against this. Right, there we go. Now then. Yeah, I do need to sort that out. I know. I'm going to leave it out for the time being, but it needs uh, sorted. Right, okay. So now then, you've finished poking and prodding. <clears throat> well, you finished poking, not prodding. Ordinarily, I would clip the signature to this, but I think... I think we'll be fine like this and I think you might see more clearly what it is that I'm doing. So I'm taking a length of, in my case, Perle crochet cotton, which works really well, I must say. I know it's quite expensive, but it lasts a long time. Um, I'm looking for my needles, which are here. And I've got one with quite a big eye that's quite long, so it's perfect for the job.
you can use wax thread. Uh, if we are doing a journal, a proper journal, we use wax thread. So make sure you've got everything the right way up. Excellent. And you come through the middle hole, pull it through until you've got an end like that, and then just clip that under one of your clips so you know you're not going to lose the end of your, your thread, which is quite annoying when you get to the end and you realise <laughs> that your thread's... And, it, and through that middle hole that we made uh, in the folio, like so. She says she's going to avoid anything sharp. <sighs> that girl, honestly. She needs a health warning. So all I've done is I've come out of there and I've gone in the bottom hole, in through my papers, straight through. Pull it. it doesn't matter about pulling it overly tight at this stage we can sort that after then in through the bottom hole it doesn't matter top and bottom are interchangeable you know you can go through the top first or the bottom first or whatever the procedure is the same there we are and then now it's back in through the middle so through there and Try not to split the twine that you've been using. Seems to be the day for making mountains out of molehills today. And that's it, comes back through the middle. Like so. Right, take your needle off, put it away so you know where it is for the next time. Don't leave it just on your desk because I'm telling you, it'll get swamped. One needle. It does not stand a chance on my desk of ever being found again. Right, so now we can tighten everything up. So we can take that clip off. We need to make sure that both ends of this are on separate side to this long stitch in the middle. So I'm just going to pull that there and I've got one end here, one end there. So the first thing that I did, I think, was go out there. So I'm going to pull that tight. So I'm holding on to the other end and then pull that tight, follow it on through, pull that tight and I've got the other end here in my hand that I can tighten up. And you want it to sound like that, like a sort of dead guitar string. So it's the small end that's there. So keep, keep following it through until you've got it really nice and tight. Nice. You've got, you're aiming for that sound. And then you pull it quite tight. Put a double knot in it before it moves, slackens itself. That's the thing about wax thread. Uh, a, it's very strong, but B, it doesn't move against itself. Once you've pulled it tight, it will remain tight. And then with the passage of time, the wax will melt and it becomes set on itself. So wax thread is definitely, you know, the preferred option, um, but not for something little like this. This is absolutely perfect for this job. I just tied a bow. If you want to, you can make the bow ends longer and tie that in a knot as well. I don't think it's necessary for this project, um, but it's up to you. So I'll take the clips off. Let's have a look, see what we've done, if we've done it anything like right. There we are. Oh, look at that. It's lovely. So does everything still shut is the, is the question. Yes, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. When you look from the top, you can see the journal, you can see the envelope. And it's filling up pretty much most of that, which is great. That was what I wanted. For this one, I did make the spines half an inch. For the first one, I made them three quarters of an inch. And I think it was just a touch too much. Half an inch, um, I think, is better. But you see the length of that journal in there now. It's absolutely perfect. More good looks and good guidance, eh? So there, that's that kind of done. All we need to do now is glitter. <laughs> Let's go with glitter in. Well, that's... Does that need any more glitter? I don't think so. 
it'd be glitter overload. What about the tag? Oh, it's already been glittered. So that's done. Uh, that's been glittered. That's all glittered. The back of that hasn't been glittered. Does it need it or is it a bit of a rest for it? We'll leave that. Mr. F's whispering. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> so that's that. This we definitely need to do something with. Um, he just needs some glitter, basically, doesn't he? So let's get my uh, brush and my stickles. June says she runs a cotton pearl over a candle. That is a genius idea, Joan. Genius. That's the idea of the day. We do the same toilet. Yeah, this is the wax that we use. It's just a block. It says beeswax on it. I'm cheap as you like, really. It's about a quid, isn't it? Yeah. Like that. Right, so let's let's uh, stickle this guy up. So shall I stickle the, the stag and leave the rest? Yeah, I think I will, actually, on this occasion, because the other times I've... Yeah, no, I'm going to stickle the stag. And for those of you that weren't watching yesterday, I'm just using a paintbrush so I can get it relatively accurate but spread out nicely. I think it goes all the way back there actually. Just a little bit more. Don't want to obscure him with glitter but. Glitter in my eye, glitter in my eye. <laughs> Are you a deer? Oh, you are a deer. <laughs> Staggering. Down his neck. Should I do the antlers? I might have to put this onto a bit of something, like a pretend palette. Just pick it up. Let's go down his antlers. Why not? There's no reason. No reason not to do that. I'll tell you what, whatever I do after this is going to be pretty plain, isn't it? You have never seen me do this sort of thing before, ever. Although I must say, if I had to say, it's great fun. I love it. I, th I think that's probably all that's needed there. And you see, it's, it's nice and glossy and sparkly. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that. I think that's sufficient. Uh, there's nothing in the journal that needs attention. I can't really flip him over now, so that wasn't my, the world's best move. I am, however, I've got to do something with this glitter. I can't just waste it. I'll put it onto this stag here. Put a red clip top and bottom corner and put it over. It'll be enough to hold it off. The... Right. I'm going to glitter this fella big style. I'm really going for it because he's a giant stag and he's the head of the whole forest. I don't know if he is or not. Just made that up. Just made it up, people. Getting as bad as Mr. F for making things up. Yeah, he's going to look nice, I think. You know, because he's kind of the first thing you're going to see when you open the journal up, the folio up. So I want him to look nice. Nicely decorated. I could have applied this straight to the page here. Oops, I don't really want that there. Are uh, Jen and Mike with us today? Uh, I haven't seen them. Mm. I 
They've perhaps gone away for a romantic weekend. Well, usually their date night includes me. So why have I not gone? <laughs> or occasionally me. <laughs> occasionally. Right, so he's all glittered now, apart from his antlers. So I don't want to put too much out because then I feel compelled to use it. Oh, that one's still damp. So just a bit of glitter down his antlers here. You don't have to be too exact with this. Don't lose sleep over it. I can see Mrs. Stag asking, where did you get that glitter? <laughs> oh, it was just somebody at work. <laughs> Guess he could have been on a stag night. <laughs> You're on form today. May I see? Right, I think I think that oh he looks lovely. Have a look at him. There you go. Yep. Yeah. One very shiny stag. Marvellous. I couldn't ask you to just run that under some water, please. Oh, bring it back though because I, I feel my glittering days are not over right I'm going to put the word journal on there yes that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to leave it the full size yesterday I was oh, I could trim it short and put blue ribbon I forgot about the blue ribbon right so there's my word um yeah, the other words I've put blue ribbon behind. So I, th I think I'll do that again. I like it. Probably just, thanks very much. Probably just put it there, I think. My choices as I, I, as I see them, oh, come on, are there or there. Yeah, there. That's where. There. So I'm just going to... Jen is there. Oh, hiya, Jen. Were you keeping quiet? I had visions of you using some of that um, beautiful Tim Holtz fabric that you got. I can see that Mike's going to be ruffling for a long time to come. I did, um, those of you that saw me yesterday go through the wallpaper samples that I'd I'd got. Um, I did contact, I emailed the people last night to ask, to explain to them what I did and to ask if it was still in copyright, etc. Um, of course, that was Saturday night, so I wasn't expecting an answer. But as soon as they let me know, if they let me know, um, I will let you know what they had to say. And if, if it's out of copyright, then you know i can share it around so i'm just going to put some fabric tuck on the back of this blame it's nearly dark here already and it's only quarter past yeah, three jen says she slept in and there was a power cut so no alarm and are, are we supposed to believe that <laughs> <laughs> oh no no don't fall on there i have to get my tim toe out The dog ate my homework. Mm -hmm. I'm putting a, not masses, but a fair bit on. Because as you all know, fabric takes quite a lot of fabric tuck. Can go that way a little bit. There we go. Very nice. So, yeah, now I've got it stuck together. It's probably easier to see where I want to put it. But I think there. It's either there or there. Yeah, there, because it leads you straight onto the deer's face. Right decision. 
right decision. <laughs> just, just well, them birds. We don't realize them little birds. So I'm putting quite a bit of glue down the cut edge of this ribbon because it's Petersham, and those of you that know Petersham knows it sort of it frays along its whole width, and then you're left with nothing. So just about there, just above the bird, is that straight, I ask myself. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to get my ruler out because I just can't tell. It doesn't look anything like straight. So if I get that there, oh, no, need to come down one there, right, get up to there. Lovely. That must be straight because my ruler tells me so. Lovely, right, um, probably benefit from a couple of little silver stars on it. See, it's all this stuff, isn't it? It takes up time, 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 time. Um, I've got one little silver star stuck in the lid and I've got others stuck around there. So that'll do, that'll do me. I'll get me thingy, a uh, little bit of Fabri-Tac, just there a little bit of fabric tuck there pick up the star and one of these from around the lid there we go just brightens that word up a little bit Oh, that one's a movable feast. Right, there we are. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Put the lid on the Fabri-Tac. Put the lid on the Silver Stars. And then I think we're back to our, gl our glittering. That's pretty dry now, actually, but that isn't... Uh, is he? Yeah, he's pretty dry. So, yeah, I think I can come to uh, owl face now. Where am I going to glitter? I need to glitter down here where the snow is. And maybe up those tree branches and leave the owl. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Here's my brush. I'd really like to get this finished today so you can see what it looks like. See if you like it, see if you want to make one yourself. So I'll put my glitter on, I'm just spreading it around quite willy nilly. Just up to the bottom of the owl's feathers, to the edge of that where it bends, where the fold is. Because this is like snow, I imagine. I'm imagining it's snow. Sets quite quickly this uh, glitter glue, or stickles, whatever it is. Uh, you, you've got to get it dispersed fairly quickly. It just sets on your page. Right, there we go. I'm not saying this was the best project ever for doing a live, because you actually can't really see some of the glitter that I'm putting on. But trust me, I am putting <laughs> glitter on <laughs> So I'm going to use my would-be palette again. I found stickles in the jar. Uh, they now, well, they glitter glue. They now do stickles glitter gel that comes in a one ounce pot. Okay. Um, it doesn't say glitter glue anyway, but I, I, it is. I mean, it is glitter glue. That's yeah. how they describe it. Yeah. But the glitter gel is is in a gel so you can use it through stencils and stuff oh come on oh that would be fabulous it stickles glitter gels as opposed to glitter glue oh. there there goes even more of your money <laughs> i wanted some things this week quite sort of mundane boring things paper and um ink etc uh, etc et you all know the story um and there was no money in the painty account <laughs> painty was broke 
So um, I've had to have a sub from Mr. F. And when he worked out everything that I owed him, it was like 90 odd quid. <laughs> oh dear. So I'm going to have to pay that back somehow. Actually, this is looking really nice with the, whoa, with the uh, just doing the branches of the trees. I'm liking it, actually. I'm just, they're too fine to do, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter over there. Like that. Right, let's have a look and see what you think. I know. Can you see the branches of the trees? Yay. That, that's good. I like that. Right, let's see where else we need to. I'm just going to put the lid on this. I get the feeling it's one of those things that would dry forever. Uh, so that's done. Is everything dry here? Yeah. So that brings us on to our squirrel. Oh, two little blue tits there. Man, they're gorgeous. Uh, the squirrel. Well, I think all of this really should be... Yeah, I do. I think all of the snow should be uh, glittered. I have to get on this quick because, as I say, it, it does set up quite quickly. Go around him. Leave him unglittered. Because he's kind of in front of the snow. Lovely. Oh, I've used all that glitter already. It's great fun, this. You've got to do it. You've got to have a go at it. It's just excellent fun. It's like glitter, but in a kind of controlled manner. Um... Shall I do the tree stems? Yeah, I've got a little bit out, so put the lid on this. Just looks like you've taken more care to finish it off, I think, if you do the trees. And I like details. So this is what you can do with Lorna Taylor's, well, tailor-made journals, winter magic kit and i'm dying to see what you do with it it's um i've thoroughly enjoyed it thoroughly i'm going to glitter this little raven up here and i'm just going to come down this tree i don't think you've got to be overly careful because you can't really see where you start and stop with it. It's not it's not that detailed. It's just a little tree. What do you call them? I nearly said a stalk. What are they called? Trunk. Trunk. That's the one. So I'll just use up what I've got left on my makeshift palette. And just do a little bit on that bow there. There we go. Oh, I've got a tree trunk here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, it looks lovely. Right, so let's flip that out again. And this is the... Ugh. This is the page that you see uh, from the front. So I really want to make this quite nice. Like I haven't with the rest. <laughs> let's do an ending with the rest. I'll be needing some new stickles in a minute. Fortunately, it was a brand new pot or squeezy thing, whatever you call them. It's 
going around that little blue tit. So I'm sort of making a snow bank, but the fox is obviously on top of the snow. So I'm not going to glitter him. Has we got any red stickles? Have we? Uh, have a look in the drawer. In the draw mark glitter glue, excuse me. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, that snowflake definitely needs the treatment. Right, I'm going to put some on my palette and just get up around the back of that fox. They're a bit wet, those, the work, but they're um, quite wet. So I'm just going to do the tree trunks again, because you will see this from, you know, the very, it's on the very front. So I want them to be extra nice. You know, when you're making journals and you, you're trying to decide how much you should charge, and I know it's a continued sort of contentious issue really um, but bear in mind all the things you've used like these stickles like how much your paper cost like how much it costs you to print out one sheet in color and I think you'll be amazed when you do that just actually how much it costs to make one journal it's frightening when you start to add it up Uh, you know, I know some people put quite low um, prices on their journals, and that's fine when you're getting go. You know, when you're just starting. Um, but really, you know, if this is your business, you have to at least recoup what you've spent on it. Surely, um, and I think people understand that by and large. Right, I think we're about there with that one. Oh, there's a big long tree trunk there that I've seemed to have missed out. Goni says hi. Hi, Goni. Thanks for joining us. Right. Oh, there's one there. I'm sick. I think it was a forest. Laura is saying you'll have to start a Patreon to pay him back. <laughs> yeah, well, Lorna, funny you should mention that. Very funny you should mention it. Uh, right, I think I'm done with that. Uh, I have still got a little bit of glitter on my brush. Oh, I'll do the leaves on here. <laughs> He's a candidate for being gl uh, glittered. Oh, and some on the berries. Yeah, let's make the berries glittery. A little bit down here, down there. I haven't got much left now. Yeah, that's fine. That's cheered him up. He was feeling a bit, everybody's got glitter apart from me. Well, now you have. Right. Can I give you the brush again? I'm so sorry. It's just, I know it, it's going to set like a rock. Right, so there we are. All glittery, sparkly, just a gorgeousness. Got our shaker window here. And I don't know if I explained to you yesterday why I was using um, Polly Pocket. It was only after I finished the live, I thought, well, I didn't really tell them why I was using Polly Pocket. Um, look at that, of course, sparkly, wet wipe. Um, the reason is, I've made many, um, you know, shaker cards and tags, etc., etc. And I've always been disappointed because they don't, the glitter stuff doesn't actually move whatever it is you're using. And I think what it is, the acetate is so flat to the page that there's no room for them to move. Whereas Polly Pocket, it's a bit more crumply. You get a little bit more air in behind it and it allows your shakery things to move. So that's why I was using that. Um, let's just check what's dry, what's wet. I think we're probably okay. Just flip this over. Of course, we've got, um, yeah, on here, isn't it? The last bit. 
uh, that's looking nice with the, the stag all nice as you like. That stag's looking nice. So are you dry yet? I'm just going to take my heat gun to it. It's nearly dry. Just I don't want it to. For lockdown in Alberta. Ooh. I kind of wish they'd do that here. I wish they'd either say you're in lockdown or you can do what you like. Because we have what they call tiers. Um, each one gives you more more or less freedom the way you choose to look at it. Um, and I don't think anybody understands what you're supposed to do in any tier. So that is going to go across to there and it's going to have a little Velcro dot on it. Oh, before I do that. Oh no, I'll put the dot on first. Uh, I'll get my fastenings draw out. Look at all the... I don't know what that's about. Sharon says, Day, she say she likes it even more than he did. Oh! Do you want me to ban her? <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. Look what I got from Lynn Whitman. Look at these. I haven't even opened them. Can you see them? They are rose gold bulldog clips. Rose gold, guys. Come on. So thank you so much. There's loads of them as well. Loads. Um, those are mine you've seen before. Any newbies might not have seen these. Joys. <laughs> Joseph Stroke Flo Cinderella sent me one originally. This one, in fact. And I absolutely loved it. I had it on my desk for ages and ages. Um, and then I put it away, but I missed it. So I bought myself a whole pack. <laughs> they're brilliant. They're lovely. I love them. They're, I don't think I've ever used one, but they're just stupidly gorgeous. So that's those. Uh, black Velcro stick-ons, my rose gold things I've just shown you. There's just brads, paper clips, bulb clips, the usual sort of stuff. Um, so I've, I just want one of these. That's the scratchy side. And one of these, that is the fluffy side. And I'm just going to join them together in holy matrimony. Like so. They are quite sticky. They've stuck on my hand quite well. And Mr. F was complaining the other day that it was sticking to everything else in this drawer. Which he's right. He is right. I can't fault him. Can I have that in right? No. Not. Right, so I want the soft side up there. So I'm just going to put a bit of Fabri-Tac on here. Just to be sure. To be sure sort of thing. I know this I know they're strong, I know that, but I just want to make sure that it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna oh no, it's right on the blinking thing's nose. Never mind. No, no, you can always paint it red. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, paint it red. And then make sure you've got that exactly where you want it. So I need to bring that oh I need to put some fabri tac on this side. gone through loads of glue today. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Make sure it's right. So make sure you've got this exactly, exactly, exactly. Otherwise it Nancy's won't. Nancy's got to go. Oh, thanks Nancy. Hope you're feeling a wee bit better as the days go by. Don't be too impatient. I'm going to stick that down there. So that will be our op opening and closure. Um, last time I did two, what do you call them? What are they called? You know, when you put two bits Ice. of cardboard round and you wind the thing. Oh. It's got a name, like a wallet closure or, um, yeah. I don't know, something like that. Something like that. Right, so I haven't got a clip, I don't think, that's big enough to hold that. 
We haven't got any big clips, have we, that would hold it? Yeah, what? Oh, that. Is that long yeah, that's enough? Quite, it's yeah, that's a bit too much. A bit too much for you. Yeah. It's more, more than I can handle. Yeah, it's too strong. Yeah, it's all right. Don't worry. It's 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 sticking of its own volition now. And the other thing that I want to do is this is still now naked, and this is the last thing for today, guys. Sorry we didn't get around to the envelope trifold. I'm really sorry because it's I've spent all morning doing it. Um, and I'm going to put that up that naked spine. Sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? Center spreads and naked spines. And then the, there will be enough just to fold it over there so it'll look nicely finished off. So I'm going to use, uh, what am I going to use? I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because there's holes in the lace and I don't want glue coming out, bulging out of it. It's not a good look. And at this stage now you can glue over your signature threads so they will never come undone which is good nice thing strengthen this spine up a bit so people can use it with impunity i haven't got much fabric tack left in here that's the problem but it'll be all right I hope you've enjoyed today. I feel it's a bit bitty, really. Um, but, but I've really enjoyed it and I've cracked on with things. Oi, come back. Right, so I want the centre of that flowery thing right in the centre. So I'm using my signature threads, which I can see through the lace as a guide to where the centre is. Just encourage that to stay there. And I need to well I need to cut the end off, frankly. And at the bottom Then I just need to run my fabric tack just up here so I can catch all of this. So maybe sometime. <laughs> Make sure that you stick the ends down firmly, otherwise the lace will fray and not look very nice. So I know Lona that making um these kits isn't your sort of first love really but please make another one I've so enjoyed using this one it's been really it's been a really fun project so there we are that's that let me just get my tim towel push that down exactly and get rid of any glue that there might be around the place There we are. It's, it's barely noticeable actually, but it's there. And it's quite nice. So it's just a bit on the back. And then I think we can call it done. As I say, I've got to um, look at that pocket that's on the inside because I think I haven't stuck, the, it's a gusseted pocket and I think I haven't stuck the back of it down properly. So it's impeding the uh, progress of the journaling card as it goes in. Michelle says it's a stunning journal. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Zanet says it's really gorgeous. Jean says beautiful. Shivery oh. says beautiful. Oh, thank you, guys. And Michelle says the lace was the perfect cover-up for the nakedness. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought so. And I like it in white as well. It's in keeping with all the snow and stuff. So there we go. Right. There we have it. Nice lace spine. It's nice. Uh, I think 
<laughs> Dare I say it, I think we've finished. I think we've finished that journal. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Uh, do I really want to open this at this stage? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. So there we are. I've got a two Velcro dots there. It opens up like that. Shaker card, this lovely bird with these um, glittered berries and wing and leaves now. Um, there's a journaling card inside there. There's lace down there. There's a charm on there. Snowflake charm. Got a tummy tuck here with lots of glitter on. Uh, a little journaling card with a fox with lots of sparklies. Uh, it just sits down into there. I've got this lovely journal that we made. Really nice. I like it a lot. And then this big journal, which is, it means business. It's for writing in. Okay. Um, this big stag here. And then they all fold over again. And it just shuts up like that. So there we have it guys and girls i'm saying guys because we've got two members of our group we've got mike sinclair jen's other half and we've got tim mcmath who doesn't tend to join us for the the lives but he is in our group so i'll say hello to him anyway um thank you uh, lorna for gifting me the kit it's really beautiful and i hope you think that I've done it justice. I've tried my hardest. Um, and that's kind of it. So thank you for sticking with me. It's been a bit of a long one. And I don't know really what we've got achieved, but we finished this, um, which is lovely. And I shall see you all again. Oh, look at him. <laughs> it's lovely. I'll see you all again on Tuesday, two o'clock normal time. As I say, I don't think that Mr. F will be doing his take five tomorrow uh he'll, he'll fit it in somewhere over the christmas period because he's if i do it a bit later but yeah we'll, we'll advertise if, if he's going to do it we'll advertise it but assume he's probably not so terry don't set your alarm clock <laughs> well you can you can get up and bake muffins like bernice um notice none came our way do you notice that mr f what's that none of bernice's came to us I, I haven't had a muffin in a long time. Exactly. I like muffins as well. Uh, right, so thanks, guys. I'm just waffling now for the sake of it. I can't believe that you all st stuck. Nice comments, anyone? Um, Hilda and Mr. F. <laughs> oh, Dixie, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you with me. Deborah, thank you. Jen, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um... Beautiful work once again, Fiona, and thank you, Mr. F. Thanks, Carol. Oatmeal muffins. Oatmeal. That's porridge. It's for horses. What are you putting oatmeal in your muffins for? Anyway, that's a story for another day. <laughs> I'll see... Well, I'll, this will be for sale both in my... mate. No, I'll just put it on Etsy because some of you are having real problems with Made Me. I'll just put this on my Etsy shop and it'll be for sale pretty soon. Um, half an hour or so. The other one, the little envelope uh, journal. Doesn't it look plain by comparison when because it, it hasn't got any glitter on it? Don't worry, I'm going to glitter it up. Uh, it will also be for sale at some stage, and I think I've explained to you where the money goes for that. Um, thanks all very, very much, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye, take care.